Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you're all having an awesome week and you're excited for another edition of Friday Reads because this week I read Not a Boy by L. Keaton, which features Jared on the cover. I'm going to read the back of the book and then tell you what I thought about it. Henry should have kept on walking by when he spotted the younger man sitting alone on the beach. He should never have stopped, never sat down, and certainly never kissed him because now Henry is experiencing feelings and he doesn't like it one bit. Things happen for a reason, even random hookups. Ben was supposed to get off work early that night. It was no accident the sexy stranger stumbled on his beach hiding spot. The kiss was destined, as well as what happened afterward. It wasn't as if Ben believed in love at first sight, but this was damn close. It's a good thing Henry lives 3,000 miles away, or he might, have, might do something stupid, like ask for Ben's phone number. Ben's hometown boss begs him to, him to return, and he agrees, only regarding not being able to say goodbye to his snarky divorce lawyer. But all the wanting in the universe isn't going to bring them together again. He doesn't even know Henry's last name. Besides, home is on the West Coast, not Maine. Sometimes the universe is a funny place. So I really enjoyed this novella by Elle. I read it in a few days, which... Um, it's a quick read. It's about a hundred, about a hundred pages. There we go. Um, and I liked seeing how the relationship between Henry and Ben, um, developed very quickly. It, they met on the beach and Ben says, a toast to sunsets and smart asses. So they had this fun, cute banter with each other from right at the beginning. Then they had a great night with one another. Um, something happened where Ben had to actually leave the next day uh, to fly back to go to work and him and Henry didn't get their goodbye um, situation. So they're kind of left lingering where neither knows each other's phone number or um, as well as kind of where things go from there. Um, so it's kind of left in limbo. And Henry is in Maine because he's spreading the ashes of his parents. And I like how a concept in the book is he hears, Henry hears things that his mom says, like cute little funny messages. Um, for instance, five minutes, five years, what does it matter? Kiss him already in regards to Ben and Henry kissing for the first time. So I liked that little aspect. So when Ben goes back to work and then Henry also goes back to work, they have a interesting situation occur where they're both at Ben's dad's wedding. So Henry works with Ben's dad as also a divorce, divorce lawyer. And then Ben is working at the hotel, um, I believe it's a hotel, that the wedding is going to be held at. So it's kind of like a, oh my gosh, you're here and let's catch up and see where things go in World Wind um, Weekend Romance. Um, I think the overall theme of this book is best said by Ben's mom, which she says, when they're toasting to, with champagne, here's to new beginnings. Because Henry, as a divorce, divorce, why can't I say that word today? Divorce lawyer is very jaded in that he doesn't really necessarily believe in love because he's, his day job is everyone's getting divorced. And Ben is very open to something more happening between them. And Henry at first is very not and guarded um, and then one of Henry's best friends says to Henry, you look happier and more relaxed than you have in years. And I think that stems also from how guarded Henry is and that Ben is slowly bringing those walls down. And then this line from Henry brings drama between his and Ben's relationship just again because of he's a divorce lawyer. Love is a big lie. There's no such thing. It's just hormones that lead to bad decision-making. Good sex does not equal love. 
So having said that, do you think that Henry is going to be able to overcome his issues with love per se, potentially marriage as well? Um, and how does that play for Henry and Ben? Make sure to check out Not A Boy by L. Keaton and let me know what you thought about it. And make sure to subscribe because more Friday reads are coming soon. Have a great weekend, everyone.